What's up, my single chats? It is happening once again. I cannot believe it, fellas. We're gonna be checking this video out because it talks about the Call of Duty 2024 leaks. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It is happening once again. We got this video to check out. We got a lot of leaks. We got zombies information. I believe Zombie Chronicles 2 as well. The campaign, the multiplayer, the zombies, and there's a whole lot of leaks going around. I mean, another year, another Call of Duty. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Like this video and let's actually check this out. Now in 2020. 24, which means that this year's Call of Duty release will be a Treyarch game, which is yes, rumored sir. to be called Call of Duty Black Ops Gulf War. And in this yeah, video, yeah. we'll be diving to everything of what we know so far, because we actually know quite a lot, as leaks and rumors for this game have been going around ever since the end of 2022, including yeah, images true. and strings leaked from- Yo, that's right though! We actually did indeed had images. We had like artwork leak, I believe there was the SR-71 like in a hangar leak, and there was another image, it was the artwork leak, it wasn't like gameplay image. And more recently with assets for the game within Modern Warfare 3's files, leaks from voice actors for the game itself, as well as insiders and leakers on Twitter. So let's dive into absolutely everything we know about the game, starting with the time period and the setting. According to Windows Central, Call of Duty 2024 is indeed Black Ops, set during the yeah. Gulf War in the early 90s. Y'all don't have any new names for your games, bro. Y'all got the same names, dog. The game will attempt to explore a nuanced narrative of the Gulf War with a critical focus on different participants within the conflict, and that it will dovetail into the end of the Cold War era and explore some of the consequences therein. As far as gameplay-wise is concerned, the early 90s setting will mean a return to more traditional military combat technology and familiar Black Ops gadgetry. Uh, thoughts on this one real quick because we also have leaks which I covered on the channel already that Call of Duty 2025 right after this game... Bruh. I know it's crazy, bro. I know, bro. I Kill me now. I, I get it. Like, uh, holy mother of God. Like, we got this Call of Duty, next Call of Duty, next Call of Duty. Every Call of Duty is leaking out. Yeah, like, we have news on Call of Duty 2025 as well. And it says that it's going to be an actual Black Ops 2 remake. Oh, shit. Which means it's going to have remaster maps from Black Ops 2, the original, from 2012. And it's also going to have new maps because they realized that Modern Warfare 3 didn't bang that much. So they need new content. I mean, who would have thought, right? <sighs> Then the yeah, Call of Duty and they need new content right now. <laughs> Crazy. Very few details are known so far about the campaign, such as that it's apparently going to be very gritty and very violent, according to leakers on Twitter. But we can con uh, uh, come season one, we're gonna be having like uh, a, 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 a friendly. We're gonna be getting these BBC bundles, bro. Greatly confirm at least one new character coming to the Black Ops game called Ratcliffe, as the actor for this character, Luke Charles Stafford, posted a Facebook post to his personal page which had various images and videos in what appeared to be a mocap studio for COD. The text on the post said that Activision decided to adapt their next main character Ratcliffe for Call of Duty off of my face and likeness and oh, I am man. elated. That post obviously doesn't exist anymore but it's too little too late. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. yeah he didn't know bro he didn't know he made that mistake the same mistake that the homie Mr. Dalek made all the oh you know when Zombie Chronicles <laughs> uh, 1 came out I believe it was 2018 or 2018 2017 I believe it was 2017 right and Dalek was like you were not supposed to see that I do not know why that happened you are not supposed to see that and he ended up those of you that know you know but those of you that didn't get the reference he ended up accidentally leaking origins gameplay for DLC 5 zombie chronicles for black ops 3 all right he ended up accidentally showing the gameplay and uh, yeah he was like you were not supposed to see that and according to at leakers one on Twitter, there are at least three more new characters coming to the game called Felix, Marshall, and Newman. Leakers have already discovered some campaign mission names such as Contract, Holy. Union, Safe House, which will be similar to the Safe House in Cold War, a mission that takes place on a farm along with Storm, Extractor, Redacted, and Imposter. Let's now move on to Zombies, which we have- Yeah, okay, I, I know this is like early information, but bruh, yeah. if this game only got eight levels like that, then I'm a fight y'all Moses, okay? Dog, imagine this. Like, imagine having like eight multiplayer maps or eight campaign missions. That's like less than three hours. <laughs> but you have like all of these BBCs. They got like so many bundles in the game. They got 20 billion bundles. And these things you're telling me cannot have good amount of... Like, come on, bro. We in 2024, there should be 20 maps at launch. Like the video if you agree. As a brown man, I demand 20 maps at launch. Brand new maps. 
I demand remaster maps too, but as long as we have 20 new maps, okay? As a brown man, I also demand camp into at least, I know it's Call of Duty, it's not like Spider-Man or Starfield, or, it should be at the very least be 5 to 6 hours long, not 3 hours like modern garbage warfare 3, bro. Actually know quite a lot about and Life sounds incredibly great. exciting. So I think first and foremost, Brown Bay Zombies is returning this year. Several leakers have confirmed it alongside sources that Charlie and Towers heard. Leakers have discovered that there is currently two round base maps within the game's code, suggesting that we could get two round base maps on launch. Code names could get two maps at launch. Does that mean that they're also debating the <laughs> we can also release one map and people will be fine bro i swear to god if these suckers only release one map dog at this point with all the technology and all the money y'all make y'all should be able to give people three minimum zombie maps at launch new maps and to be honest bro i can take like two maps as long as those maps are quality and have that replayability new zombies maps not like modern warfare 3 now the cool thing the thing that i actually liked with modern warfare 3 zombies i personally have not played it i did not buy the game but the thing that i like and i always like this and i always said that in the past that i'm cool with zombie maps you know the onslaught mode like how we had that in black ops cold war that's cool as long as we have new zombie maps you suckers can put zombies on multiplayer maps that's like additional content bonus content why not have zombies on the multiplayer maps why not have it on warzone exactly what they did with modern warfare 3 but obviously people complaints are about the fact that there is no unique and original zombie maps that's my point here we should get two new three hopefully but okay two new zombie maps and I'm hoping for a zombies crew. Bruh. Uh, and when I say that, I'm hesitating because I know these things are going to be selling microtransactions. And the entire reason they got rid of the zombies crew in Black Ops Cold War in, in the last few years is because they want to sell the skin in multiplayer. And they want you to buy that and use that in zombies. And that's that kills the vibe for zombies for me, dog. Maybe the new kids, they don't care. Um, probably don't care because they grew up with like the specialist games and the live service games but well, man come on though like for once bro like I get it you need the money and you're gonna get the money if the game is good you're gonna make more money than God but dog like at least for zombies have a zombies crew man make the game be feel alive have a soul in it damn it for these maps are ZM Quartz and ZM Garnet. Now what's insane is we actually know some very specific details about both of these zombies maps with one of them being set seemingly in a city with there being references oh, to wait. a bank, a church and police Yo. tape present in the map. It will likely have wire ascending. So it, it's a transit remaster bro. It's, it's transit remaster. <laughs> They're gonna have one new map and transit remaster. And listen, I'm not complaining. I... I'm probably one of the only few people that actually love transit. Oh, yeah, bro, I'm gonna say it now more so than ever. Okay, maybe back then when it first came out, we had like other zombie maps to compare to, right? So, okay, understandable like transit in comparison to Origins, Buried, and Mob of the Dead. Yeah, sure, it wasn't that good. And compared to The Rise and Drow, Zatsubu, and other maps that we had in Black Ops 3, yeah, sure, wasn't the best. But looking back now, with all the crap zombie maps we got over the years, I would say Transit is a goddamn masterpiece. So I'm not even mad, but the, the thing that I don't like here is that I'm hoping it's not one new map and one remaster. I hope it's like two new maps and one remaster. And I wouldn't mind to, uh, wouldn't, I, I would love to see Transit back, 100%. Similar to what we saw in Mawa de Totem, where you could travel between rooftops and it will have machines that you can activate. I'll dive into a moment about what exactly I think this city map could be, but the second launch map sounds very exciting, where it will seemingly be set on an island with an elevator that takes you to to an underground prison and lab and it will have a ship with a deck cannon trap that you can activate and set the angle of and when you first hear of an island map bro don't give me hope man don't don't be showing me that black ops 3 zombies <laughs> cutscenes at subu because black ops 3 zombies was honestly one of the best games uh, i played i know some of you will like say you swear to god say you cap you cap and skizzle you cap and now nah, bro honestly black ops 3 zombies the 2015 and 2016 era was just phenomenal uh personally for me though i i really did not life these games i know we should we we all have one one of those games that we love it we play it 
uh, we don't care what anybody says, right? It was one of those types of games. And it's fine if you didn't like it. I know, like, Slickers always get, like, uh, mad and offended if, uh, how dare you say my game is bad? Nah, bro, you can you can criticize. It's totally fine. Because at the end of the day, bro, like, it's just a game, right? But for me, Black Ops 3 Zombies, I'm not talking about the multiplayer. Uh, I'm talking about Zombies specifically. It was very, very good. I Those of you that uh, have been subbed to my channel uh, back then and been around to this day, Holy F, bro. Like, shout out to you. Shout out to you. Because if you stick around for that long, bro, holy. We might actually get to see good zombies. Maybe. 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 Your initial thoughts Let's not are get Alcatraz ahead. or Zetsabo, but I think it's going to be neither of those. And thanks to Cod Law Facts on Twitter, they've pretty much narrowed down the exact backstory of this island map. Right at the very end of Black Ops Cold War Zombies Forsaken cutscene, we do see a five years later scene where Dr. Peck is pointing at a map as somewhere that he wants to travel to. And this is out in the middle of the ocean, just near Japan. Ever since seeing this in October 2021, we've had no real direct references to any new island within the zombie storyline until Modern Warfare Zombies, where during this Act 2 cutscene, we get some information about Darkaev's right-hand man, James Fletcher. Now, with Black Ops Gulf War being set in the 90s, we have some direct information about this character during the 90s, where in 1991, the CIA pulled Fletcher from the NZDF to do security for an island called Terminus Island. And in 1993, Yo. he was honorably discharged post-mission. Scanning his service record in this frame, you can see that officially Terminus Island doesn't exist, which means the CIA and more likely Eddie, who's ricked off in, is purposely Damn. trying to keep this- Yo, honestly, like, I- Black Ops Cold War, I always loved its gameplay, but I didn't in- but I didn't enjoy its maps. It's it's kind of like weird to say. I I remember D Machina was the first map. The rest of the names I don't even remember no more. I don't even remember any other map names. I love the gameplay. I love the fact that it was a little bit like Battle Royale is in a way where, for example, right, you had a lot of the little items that were on the ground that you can pick up and when you run over you would uh, gather all the scrap i thought that was cool you know it was just a little bit like uh, you know okay play the game and grab this do this uh, i i like that i did like that i enjoyed its gameplay but the but everything else was kind of mid for me um, i know that's an unpopular opinion gameplay enjoyed it but the rest everything else was mid Black, uh, nothing, nothing to, for me, nothing beats Black Ops 2 Zombies and Black Ops 3 Zombies yet. I hope this actually is good. Now, I do agree that nothing is going to ever bring us back to that golden era. Um, I'm hoping it cre it's able to create new experiences at the very least because, let's be real, if you, nostalgia can only get you to a certain point because after that once in the, once the nostalgia has run out then it's over right like like damn we we need new maps we need new content we need something that can that can create new experiences and i hope this is the the route they go for uh you can have one or two nostalgia maps transit remaster buried uh zombie chronicles 2 yeah hell yeah but i hope new content is there and i hope new content is good we need good content uh thoughts agree disagree this island hidden from public record, but also extremely likely that Eddie is the one that is funding Terminus outcomes. And we will see the- and, and I know I'm pausing too much, but quick little thought, the fact that they did show Richtofen there, maybe that's a sign that we might actually get a zombie crew back oh, shit. for the next game. Maybe, maybe Richtofen is going to come back. Listen, at this point, I will take the OG4, even though I just said no, no nostalgia, kind of, but- you guys listen you want zombie crew or no zombie crew you want zombie crew or specialist crew i will i will take the zombie crew any day bro any day man very beginnings of the modern warfare zombie storyline connect directly to what happens next in the black ops timeline with the gulf war in the 90s so it's a near definite confirmation that the island map is going to be terminus island furthermore oh, we see oh, at the end of cold war that every member of requiem was arrested by eddie and placed in a prison and what does this zombies map supposedly have an underground prison after being tricked by eddie to help him secure the forsaken he banished 
Weaver, Gray, Carver, and Strauss to prison. And this would make absolute sense for this story to continue seeing them in prison and escaping. Everything just... God, when you look at this quality, I know I'm going to be very picky right now and very judgy. But when you look at the quality of this cutscene and you compare that, I still have that memory in my mind. When you compare this versus like Black Ops 3 cutscene, dude, like, holy F. Look at the quality. How bad it gotten for zombies. Black Ops 4 zombies started off very good with the uh, with the cutscenes and the story, but halfway through when, you know, Suckers abandoned the game, they also did abandon the content and we started getting remaster maps instead of new content like they promised. And back then for Black Ops 4 zombies, we also had season pass black ops 4 was the last game i believe to have season pass correct me if i'm wrong because modern warfare 19 came right after and it was all about <laughs> free content live service live service and it also brought skill based match picking with that too which is i mean come oh. on man that was the first game that started the whole skill based match picking trend and that infinity tar bull squash right but the quality is so bad but this last cutscene was a good cutscene with with its idea and the story because right now i feel like that next zombies can actually be good from treyarch i'm not talking about infinity infinity garbage or sledgehammer my balls i'm talking about treyarch only here i have hope but this is the last time this is the last time bro. lines up too perfectly for this all to not be what we see and as for the other zombie map that is set in a city we already know about that too from intel at the end of black ops cold war through an intel letter written by the director eddie richtofen himself where there is something huge happening with a test site in west virginia there is a huge cover story made to believe that in west virginia a town had a nuclear power plant failure and that all of the local residents had to be removed from their homes and evacuated. This is all a complete lie because Richtofen is building some sort of test site where 5,000 tons of steel is going to be delivered in order to build oh, something, shit. as well as there being a build schedule for a tunnel network. And that Richtofen went on a mass... I, I can... I, I would say this cutscene was legendary for sure. Quality-wise, mm, nah, but... Otherwise, story-wise, legendary. Massive hiring spree, hiring new scientists, military personnel, operations personnel, and custodians. All for a mysterious reason that we currently do not know. Both maps sound like they have the potential to be really, really exciting. But on top of that, we've had recent leaks about certain systems and features returning, including major ones that we saw back in Black Ops 3. The first and the absolute biggest piece of news is that a gobblegum system is apparently oh, coming to zombies this year. What the exact definition of that is your thoughts on this one real quick wrl wrl uh, for me you i guess you already know i would say w dog gobblegum system works so well and the crazy thing here is that it is linked with microtransactions that's right gobblegums liquid duinium but the good thing was that it was very much on brand it was on with the story right dr monty and they introduced that i know they introduced dr monty way too quick i felt like that they should have waited a little bit and fleshed out the story a little bit but whatever it's something that happened in the past but liquid duinium was something that you can also grind by playing this is what i liked about it uh, and, and either you can purchase or you can uh, or you can grind. So there was that ability, not like these uh, BBC, these uh, friendly UAVs. You know what I mean? But some would say it's optional too. Yeah, I, I agree. But the problem is that it's the it's the only focus they have right now. They only care about making these bundles, these skins, and they neglect the content for the game. They neglect their fans, and that's the thing that I despise right now. I hope they don't neglect the fans this time. I I, I know, I hope, I hope. I mean, bro, yeah. I, like, I'm hesitating while saying that because deep down I know that's... I'm kind of lying th through my teeth right now, bro. Holy, like, they don't care about the fans, dog. Like, let's be real, that's the truth. But I hope they learn, and I hope they... I hope they do, man. That's, um, that's all I'm asking, bro. I hope the game is good, bro. That's is unclear but this is not the exact same gobblegum system that we had in black ops 3 but there uh, will be uh, something which is similar perhaps some sort of consumer i hope it's not like super micro transaction fire though the balls that you can take into the game with you or like the gobblegum system an actual physical machine in the map that will give you a consumable item that you can use within that match it was such a popular system that i was surprised we didn't see anything like it in cold war but i'm really yeah. happy that we're getting something like gobblegum's back there's also yeah, some gobblegum system was actually very it felt rewarding when you would play the game and get liquid duinium pop up on your screen and although like the the 
the the earn rate was not like crazy fast but but it felt rewarding because you know what zombies was actually fun to play it was good it was good and you felt rewarded whenever that liquid dwindling would pop up on your screen the visuals were good i mean look at guys look at this hud and compare that with what we had in black ops 3 zombies not in day difference look at the grass look at the graphics i mean yeah graphics do not make the games but man i, I would take a pretty game all day every day but gotta have good gameplay and i said and i agree this game had very fun gameplay but the hud and everything else bro like it felt like a cheap and dirt copy of black ops 3 zombies i hope the upcoming game is good guys click on this video on the screen because we also had leaks for battlefield 6 as oh, well oh, the shit. next battlefield game click on this video on the screen on the left though i got a surprise that uh, that that secret video check out both of these videos and i will see you right there